This is Captain Keith, Liar Saloon, Kid Cochise Outdoors. Yeah. Captain Keith, how you doing there, Cochise? Apparently, yes, we ran into Captain Keith over at Liar Saloon. He watches Kid Cochise Outdoors. Get a quick shout out. That's why I showed him love right there, right? Put him on the front of that thing. Half a million people look at him and say, hey, how you doing, Captain Keith? Jig at ease. All right, what's today's video? We're gonna be jigging, all right? Got the phone call from Russ. Russ's last name's got more O's and U's. I had to go on there, I literally had to go buy two vowels. <laughs> right? Snuffle up against every Greek name, and it's like a snuffle up against all right? So that's what we did. Got an invite over there. I had the opportunity to fish with Jerry and Russ over in the Western Sound. Shallow water jigging. See if we can pick up some sea bass, blackfish, and all other jazz. This time of the year, our blackfish are shallow and they're gonna work their way out like Halloweenish, going to deeper water, right? So if you're gonna be fishing for them right now, we'll be jigging. At the end of the video, I'll show you how we uh, rig the jigs, all right? So uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna put this into a quick hip hop beat. Why hip hop? Because it works, all right? I wanna hear any of you guys saying that I don't like the music, all right? I could put my music videos together, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna rock it right now, all right? Captain Keith, thanks again. Thank you, Keith. Coach Keith. Outdoors. For maybe, you may be on it again, all right? Stay tuned for the con shout out and the rigging systems. Shake it, Ace. Let's three. Running gun, trying to get a fish before the sun goes down. We'll take a little bit of the shell off. Expose them. Just so like that. Did you expose things like that? Uh, a little buffet style. Gives a dish. A little buffet. Shout out. Who is it? Oh, yeah. It is Philip Lapierre. He must be some Frenchman. Young man over there. He was out fishing all day. Comes back to the dock. I guess he gets some live bunker off the dock. He live lines bunker off his dock and catches his 25 inch fluke, 5 pounder. Alright, that's an aggressive fluke right there. Hit the adult sized bunker. But you know what that is? Philip's no joke. Alright, he's like, he's like Sylvester Stallone. He's fishing right to the bitter end, all right? Somebody over there is probably his father's probably cleaning the boat, or his boy's cleaning one of the boats, and he's out there still fishing. I love it. It's not over until it's over, all right? It's not over until you get home and say, hey, I don't want that everybody. Yeah. All right? So that's it. I don't know where uh, Philip's from, but something tells me he's somewhere where there is Manhattan and Bunker, all right? So congratulations, Philip, for your shout out this week. Gay Sadish, many of the movies. All right, folks, let's get into it now. The jigs, what are they? Chantaloon jigs, guys. I am myself. This is the self point. Alright, let me go let me go through jigs first, alright? Hold on a second. Got a lot of birds going on here. You know I'm not in the outdoors. There it is. Right there. Make it myself. I use those colors, the uh, orange and green, because it kind of looks like the belly of a uh, female green crab. So what we're doing is just kind of going direct. I'll show you how I rig them. Tying direct, just like that. She will sit up on the bottom of a sea floor like that with a half a crab on it. You're in business. All right. This is all we're using here. This is a medium heavy seven foot rod. And I have a double uni knot to 20 pound braid. That's it. That's pen battle. Does the job. No joke. All right. 
20 pound floor out works. You can go light on that. It's if you're feeling crazy, you know, if you feel like you want to go crazy and go a little lighter on that, knock your socks off. Knock your socks off, all right? But these are the jigs. Use as little light, not light, light and little. Use the lightest one you can to hold bottom with that uh, current. And that's it. You know, that's pretty pathetic. You can even get the jigs out of the bag and you're telling people how to fish? I think not. A bigger jig, obviously. Smaller jigs and a small jig. This is the one I use first. Hopefully, I, that's the one I can get through all day because we're in shallow water. We're really fishing 10 to 15 feet of water. Anything north of 15, get the heck out of there. It's like jigging stuff. All right, so that's it. You can take that rod. You're gonna drop that jig with a half crab on the bottom and you're just gonna let the thing go. It's gonna bite, 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 and you're gonna say hello to it. That's it. Lift the rod tip, you feel weight, swing for the bleaches. All right, once he's there, reel it in. That's how you fish. What happens is the fish gets hooked by the hook and you just, this thing right here is the reel. And you just That's reel it. Thing. Apparently, the winds are the line onto the spool and the fish comes up in the water column and then you net it. What? That's it. I, I, that's what I was doing, right? So shake these. Take care. Brush your hair. Those are the rigs. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I am out of here. Here we go. The blacks. There's the fish. I mean, there's a couple of sea bass. Okay, so there's, yeah. there's the boys. That's today's good. We got about 50 of them, but we only got four right now. We're showing. All right? Back for everyone else. All right, thanks for watching.